this is either gonna be the best idea I've ever had or gonna send me into a depression state. <laughs> How you doing? So today I really want to try the butterfly haircut. We just got out of the shower and my hair is soaking wet and this haircut was made popular by Brad Mondo and I've seen a lot of people do it well and I've also seen a lot of people tank. So I'm hoping that I'll be one of the people that do it well. So I watched some tutorials on this and I think I low key have the hang of it. I am a little bit nervous, but YOLO. Basically what I watched is you want to separate your hair from the top the very top of your scalp. It should come out to behind your ears. So I'm praying to God that we actually have this down and Brad kept saying that your hair needs to be soaking wet. So I'm gonna grab my spray bottle and I also wanna put in some leave-in conditioner to make it easier to do. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It's the Curl Smith Weightless Air Dry and I'm almost out. I use about that much for my hair. Also in general, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love I've gotten recently on my hair. I feel like you guys have been so supportive of me on my hair journey, so I just wanted to say thank you and I really appreciate y'all being here. And also for the first time in like 10 years, I finally know what my actual hair color is. So that's been fun. You know, I think only this much is bleach, so the ends are pretty much not my natural color, but my natural color is peeking through, so I'm happy about that. So I'm just combing my hair and getting ready to do this. Brad said if you like laid a brush on top of your head, you'll find where the apex is. And you basically want to take your comb and make, oh, I think I did it. Okay, you wanna make like section. Oh God, this is gonna be super, super sketchy. Okay, we have one section down and the next section down. I look like the girl from the ring. I have to peek through to make sure that this is done in an even manner. No, it's not done in an even manner at all. Okay, I think that this is an accurate, pretty accurate. We have the hair here, we have the hair here. So I would say that this feels pretty accurate. And basically what he said is you're going to bring all of these hairs to the front and tie it in a little unicorn vibe. So it should look something like this and i think that's accurate so we're gonna go ahead and tie this oh my god it's like nicole why don't you just go get a fucking haircut no anything with diy i need to do it also i feel like i'm really missing jenna marbles these days and i totally feel like she would try to give herself this butterfly cut so this is in honor of you jenna okay if you're watching which I highly doubt you are, but I love you. I'm just a 30 year old lady who wants to cut her hair. Okay, the first section I think is done. I think this is right, but he kind of said it should be like in the middle of your eyebrows. So I don't know if I should bring the ponytail lower. When I watched the video, he said like in the middle of your forehead eyebrows area. So I don't know if that's like this, maybe that's this. We'll just do this instead even though it's literally the same thing. It's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Okay, the first piece is sectioned. And for this part, he basically said you wanna brush your hair up in a very, very, very high ponytail. Don't miss any pieces. Make sure the whole head is in. We are officially in the position First of all, I can't take myself seriously like this. <laughs> when I watched other girls do this tutorial, basically the way that they had done it was they had an object in their hand as something to measure. Maybe it would be about this much off. That's like, I would wanna say it's like what? Like four inches? Is that more than four inches? I have no idea. Oh, okay, I found a shorter one. So maybe it'll be the length of this and we trim it like that. I'm gonna add more water to my hair, like especially on the ends because 
that's where it should probably be the most wet and same over here too i got these hairdresser scissors off of amazon i'll link them down below they're also in my storefront and it came with this comb and thinning shears for only 20 dollars. all right i guess we should do this huh i guess it's time enough with the dramatics here let's just do it we'll do it well we're doing it i'm gonna hold it like this i think i think i'm gonna take these and just kind of like cut upward. One thing about me is I don't like the whole blunt ends. That's not my journey. Okay, we did it. He said when you cut this one, you wanna cut it on an angle forward, and this one you wanted to just cut forward. So you're not cutting it like this. So let's go ahead and let's do it. We did it. I didn't want to cut much length off the back. I don't know if I need to do, maybe just do a little bit more. We can always put this back up, you know what I mean? But we can't add more hair. So I'm just being very, very, you know, sparing with this. Okay, I think it's time to take it out of its situation and see what we've done. <laughs> Okay, so the length still feels pretty good. I'm happy about that because I did not want to have a lot of length off. I'm really trying to grow the hair for the wedding. So, all right, let's blow dry this with our Dyson and kind of style it and see how it looks. I may need to cut more because like I said, I did this very, very sparingly, but we shall see what it comes out like. Okay, so far so good. Like you can really see the layers here. So now let's just Dyson it up. All right, guys, here is what we're looking like. And I feel like it looks so good. I'm loving the layers. You can really see it when I like move and bounce my hair. Oh my God, I feel like it looks so good. This was a success. We did it, y'all. We did not end this in a panic attack. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And if there's anything else you want me to try with my hair, if you want me to talk about my hair care journey, my growth journey, things that I do to help with growth, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye.